Hello, my name is Sarad and today I'll be showing you how you can generate CUDA code using GPU Coder, deploy it to Amazon Web Services, and have a simple web application interact with the generated code. Before I jump into the actual implementation, here's the result of the demo. A simple web application that runs on a CUDA executable created using GPU Coder and allows users to upload an image and classify it using a pre-trained deep learning network. AlexNet. I can use this picture showing peppers from our documentation page, upload it to the server, and click on predict to get the classification output from AlexNet. Here's an overview of the demo. We are generating CUDA code using GPU Coder. We're then uploading the generated source code to an Amazon S3 bucket and deploying it to an EC2 instance or virtual machine using Amazon Code Deploy. Once we have the source code on the EC2 instance, we can build an executable using the NVIDIA CUDA compiler. I'll explain each of these steps in greater detail in a few minutes. To begin with, we'll use a MALA function from which CUDA code can then be generated. This is a MALA function that I've written by modifying a deep learning example from our GPU Coder documentation. You can find a link to this page below. In this function, we're reading an image using a file name input, pre-processing the image, and feeding it to a pre-trained network AlexNet, and then returning the classification output. Once we've created a MALA function, we can use a separate script to generate either a static library a dynamic library, or an executable. In this case, we're generating a static library. Additionally, we're also using the pack and go function to package the dependencies for the imread function. Running the code gen command in this case will give you a zip folder containing all the dependencies and a code gen folder containing the generated code. Extract and copy all the files in the zip folder to the code gen folder. The generated code will contain a template main.cu file and a corresponding header file. We need to modify these files to accept a file name as input. After making the required changes to the main file, we can deploy the generated code to the cloud. If you want, you can also integrate this application with your existing code base using this main file. Moving on to the AWS part of the workflow, for this demo, I'm using this AMI from the Amazon Marketplace since it provides all the CUDA libraries required to run the generated code on a GPU. We also have a file exchange post describing some of the steps in greater detail. By following the steps there, you can configure all the AWS components needed for this demo. Once you've created an EC2 instance and an S3 bucket, we are ready to upload the CodeGen directory to the S3 bucket. We also need a YAML file that specifies the source and destination paths for the source code. We'll then use the AWS command line interface to upload the files through an Amazon S3 bucket. Executing this command, we've successfully uploaded the CodeGen directory to an Amazon S3 bucket. We'll now use code deploy to deploy our source code to an EC2 instance. Using S3 with code deploy, will allow us to maintain multiple revisions or versions of our source code and have a continuous deployment pipeline. Assuming that you've already configured code deploy, we'll create a deployment for the application. We'll select S3 here, specify the path to the S3 bucket, and click Create Deployment. We now have a code gen directory on our newly created EC2 instance in the path mentioned in the code deploy YAML file. We can now use the deployed source code to build an executable. In order to do this, we'll update the path to the source code in the make file and run it. We'll then use the NVIDIA CUDA compiler to build an executable from this static library. You now have a CUDA executable that runs on a GPU in the cloud and allows you to classify images using AlexNet. You can follow along the steps outlined in this video by visiting the file exchange link below.